Hello fellow dreamer and welcome to my space. My name is Nikita Antoine and we have your theme coming out here as cunning. Okay, very interesting. This is, this is the fox. All right, I love this. I love the fox energy. Not a lot of people like the fox energy, but I like the fox energy. Fox energy is for me at least, it is an energy that wants to entice you to follow it. So now it definitely has a little bit of a cunning and perhaps maybe a little slyness to it because you never really know if what the fox is leading you to is actually something that is um, beneficial for you. But it's like if you are also in a cunning mindset of seeing perhaps the, not the lesson, or it's kind of like enjoying the journey, if you will, or seeing the always being able to see the benefit of what you get out of every experience that's kind of what the fox energy wants to teach us is that yes it might entice us into moving into certain directions that may not necessarily be for our highest benefit or our highest good but there's always something in there that we can either learn from or we're acquiring some type of skill even if it is and actually what i'm hearing is like in having like a walking in faith that's that's what i'm hearing right now even if it is just walking in faith faith or following that that impulse or that that guidance if you will so let's look at the underlying energy of your day today oh this is beautiful because what i'm receiving here now with this fox energy is that it's almost as if you're being led by synchronicities if you will and so as these synchronicities are kind of popping up as like little breadcrumbs and so because you are walking in faith you're experiencing the fox energy even more in a way that is showing up as these little these little gems these little synchronicities hello beautiful and so at the bottom of the deck we have reveal i believe this is a badger a, a badger so, and that's what this is referring to is like you essentially embodying this fox energy here is revealing to you all of these gorgeous little, little bits. Hang on. All right. So it's revealing to you all of these gorgeous little bits of kind of like of synchronicities. It's almost as if, you know, if you if you were not following the fox energy if you were not kind of following these little like it's almost like they're coming through as like little nudges or or small impulses something like that what i'm seeing here is that with that badger spirit that's coming up it's like it's coming out almost like out of the woodwork or out of the out of the fray um out it's like it's separating itself from the environment behind it. So it's as if there are things that are coming up out of camouflage. And so the only way that you're able to access kind of like, it's as if there's some time, so, how do I explain this? Okay, so you're experiencing your life kind of in a flat, in a flat like way, in a 2D way, if you will. And then when you are embodying this Fox energy, the energy of kind of walking in faith and just following those impulses. It's like, there's something that's happening in your environment that is like separating. It's almost like there's layers now. You're starting to see the layers of, of your experience, which can look to you like synchronicities or signs. It's like you're, you're able to now see the, the consciousness. That's what this is talking about. The consciousness behind all things. So that, that's really cool. All right, let's look at the bridging energy and see where this is going to take you. I'm loving this because it's taking you into stillness. And this is, I don't even know, this is like a heron or some type of crane. So it's taking you into stillness which right now is showing up as uh, kind of like making you want to really take your time and notice all the little things that are around you. 
So you, it's like you're experiencing that separation where you're starting to see the, the consciousness, if you will, behind, oh, this is so fascinating. Because suddenly, as you kind of still yourself and you start to realize what's occurring for you, there is, it's almost as if you're seeing your own reflection in the environment around you. Oh, that's fascinating. So it's kind of like you, you're, you're seeing your own effect of how you can manipulate the world around you in a very subtle and silent way, almost in a way where it's only you actually that is experiencing this, this separation, if you will. So, I mean, it does have an idea of like connecting with, you know, one, one consciousness type of thing and then also simultaneously realizing that you are a part of it as well and that's kind of what this stillness here is talking about and holy of hold let's look at the overall energy for you today i know you want so much attention <laughs> let's look at the overall energy for you today and oh i love it it's energy and it's the hummingbird. And this is fascinating because it's like, with your overall energy of the hummingbird, I always talk about how the hummingbird, they always follow the heart. So that, so the effect of what you are seeing in your life is because you are following your heart. And the hummingbird also has this multi-dimensional aspect where it's like they, they defy they defy gravity in a sense. They're kind of like the bee, similarly, 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 in a way. Um, very similar, but it has more of a heart focus, whereas the bee has more of a, uh, like, uh, what do you call that? Like, like a work, fo work focus. Both both incredibly similar in the, in the aspects that they defy. I don't know why the bee is coming up right now that they defy um, kind of like physics, if you will, and present themselves in a multi-dimensional aspect. But the hummingbird is different because it follows its heart, right? It's following the kind of like the impulses, following the impulses of your heart leads you into this full like expansion and grand reveal of kind of like the consciousness that lies beneath the surface of all things. <laughs> That's amazing. And then now you're also discovering that um, it, it, it holds pieces of you too, right? You're the one that is interacting with it. You're the one that is not manipulating it, but like, I want to call it more of an interaction versus like a manipulation. So that is, this is, this is an incredibly fascinating reading. So, as always, of course, this message is brought to you by the Psychic Broadcasting Service and is made possible by contributions of dreamers just like you and I and this purring kitty, Mr. Leopold here. And um, if this does resonate with you, definitely leave me a little comment. Tell me how this plays out. And um, I shall see you next time for more messages to come.